Hi, today we are going to be looking at beat displacement, which means we're going to be forcing ourselves to ask the question, what am I doing and where am I? So stay tuned. So what is beat displacement and why is it so important and therefore trains us to be aware of what we're doing and where we are? Now a great example of beat displacement can be heard on Vinnie Colluta's solo album, the opening track, the fantastically named Attack of the 20 Pound Pizza. Now, this track opens up in 4-4 before switching to other bars that appear to be of different lengths. But when asked about what time signature this was played in, Vinny replies that it's simply all in 4-4. What was he doing? Well, he was applying beat displacement. Now, the very fact that people assumed that the time signature was changing when in fact that wasn't the case and it was just in 4-4 means that we're being subject to a rhythmic illusion. Now the problem with rhythmic illusions is that when we're playing them, we can sometimes fall prey to them ourselves and then we look really stupid. The thing is we're trying to do something clever and we mess up. We got so involved in what we're doing that we kind of forget where we are. Now in aviation, for example, this is called a loss of situational awareness. We can lose situational awareness, i.e. f up, even when we're playing something simple. How stupid have you ever felt when playing a simple 4-4 groove with a band and then playing a great fail and then suddenly losing your impression of where the one is only to have it confirmed by the cantankerous looks of your up to then fellow band members? I don't know about you, but I always try to make it out to be their fault. So this is why it's so essential to strengthen the skill of knowing what we're doing and where we are. Practice makes perfect and practicing some beat displacement can only help to sharpen the saw. A simple eighth note groove, four bars on the fourth bar on the and of four, right where that hi-hat usually goes, I'm going to press reset and start that groove from scratch with the bass drum, as if it was the one. So the whole beat will sound as though it's been moved forward a little bit. So I know what I'm going to do, so that part's fine, but I still need to know where I am. Now, no matter how much it sounds like it, that bass drum that I put in there, which sounds like the one, is not on the one, it's still on the and of four. And I need to keep that in my head. And in fact, all the bass drum and snare drum beats are on the ands for those whole four bars before I switch it back onto the original one at the end. So what can happen here is that we're so used to hearing the beat in a certain way that we can be tricked into thinking that all those kicks and snares are actually falling on the beat when in fact they're not, they're on the and. Because we've been conditioned into hearing it like that all our lives and at some point the heart will submit and say yes okay that's where the beat is even if intellectually we know that it's not the case. So we've lost situational awareness. Now the illusion can be even more powerful if I start to play some grooves that involve a bit of 16th note syncopation, something more adventurous. Why? Simply because the familiarity of this kind of groove with some syncopation work going on will only attract the heart, i.e. the feeling, even more towards the false backbeat, when in actual fact we're displaced by an 8th note. So can we groove and improvise with ease while maintaining situational awareness?
Now this is nasty. We're going to displace the beat by a 16th note. It's a smaller and more delicate displacement, so it's a little bit more tricky. Firstly, the displaced beat will be more closer in time to the actual true beat. So we're going to be attracted like a magnet back towards that metronome click. Secondly, and crucially, unlike the eighth note displacement, there will no longer be any element that we're playing that will actually fall on the click. When we were playing the eighth note displacement, while the kick and the snare were changing place, the hi-hat actually stayed in the same place. For this 16th note displacement, that will no longer be the case. So you have to stay very, very much alert just to get away with that. But it gets even more tricky if we start getting a little bit more adventurous with the groove. stuff. But in practical terms, how can we actually develop that without just turning on the metronome and hoping for the best? Well, give this a try. You can set up your metronome to play a quarter note click followed by three more sixteenth note clicks at a different pitch. This can help you to stay in the groove during the displacement and then once you develop a little bit more confidence and ease playing the displaced groove, well you can take away those three extra sixteenth notes and just go back to playing with the single quarter note click. Now you can practice beat displacement and develop your situational awareness at any level of playing, from the eighth notes that we looked at right at the beginning up to much more complicated and challenging grooves. Have fun, thank you for watching.